In this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a project that is doing major things in the energy sector. Also, want to talk to you guys a little bit about these Bitcoin charts and the overall altcoin market charts because we are on the brink of a make it or break it moment. Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host, Jay, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about one of these projects that is a alternative to the traditional blockchain that we see. It is HBAR with their hypergraph technology. They're doing some pretty dope things over there at HBAR, and then we're going to jump right into this chart right here. So this chart right here is the total chart of the crypto market. This is all of the altcoin market right here, um, the market cap of all of the altcoins right here. When we zoom out, we can see that this is a daily chart. Let's go to the weekly real quick so we can get a better idea of what we're looking at. This white line right here is the Fibonacci retracement from the top down to the bottom. And we can see that we're popping above this 0.236 level right here. And um, it would be, you know, traditional a thing for the markets to either come up to this one or even maybe up to the 0.5 and kind of still remain bearish you know get their dip back down and then go ahead and continue up but right now we are popping above it looks pretty nice right there getting above that 200 moving average for this week right now so looking at that we want to stay above that let's move this out of the way um, I'll just delete, we can put that back in there later. So we can see right here, we're popping above that 200 moving average. We want to stay above it and then come back down and dip it. And that's kind of basically the same similar thing that we're seeing on Bitcoin. But right now we're on the brink. So let's zoom in and all, you can see all these purple and yellow lines looking like I'm a Laker fan up in here, you know, go Lakers. Um, but looking right here, we can see getting rejected again, this level is, um, straight at 25k right now straight at 25k i have this purple level that was in the chart from before the line was up there um when i put that line in there it was a little bit higher and you can see we wicked right there but um this this pattern actually doesn't look um doesn't look too bad it seems like we might be able to get some momentum going over this and um, that's why i made that video and said hey bitcoin could shoot because we saw that the stock market was also shooting so when we go and look at what was happening with the spx right there it was coming above its um long-term trend line right here came up went looks like it wants to come back down and retest it for a little bit we got these um indicators down here the macd and the rsi looking like they could be cooling off but i'm gonna go ahead and turn those off because those just been fake out indicators for for the longest time uh, because nobody really this this market is a little bit irrational right now people are waiting for something to happen right now we can see that this might spell uh, if we don't get above this by Sunday then it's gonna look ugly we might come back down and really retest this this line again this long-term trend line just like the stock market did remember Bitcoin's following the stock market and that's all the way down here at like if we came straight down right now that's at like 20k or something like that so uh, 21k so let's just Let's just go ahead and pump right above it. But I don't know if it's too early. I don't know if it's too late, depending on who you ask. Some people say, hey, we don't want to pump up too soon. Some people say, hey, we've been going down long enough. Just keep in mind, like people were very irrational. People were very, you know, just dumping on, on this period right here. People were very irrational. So some type of, um, you know, retracement back up to at least like, you know, maybe 50% of this could be something that we might actually see and it wouldn't be that strange right there let's go ahead and put that red line in the chart just in case we get super bullish so we get super bullish 35k let's call it and if we get if but we can't get super bullish until we cross above 25k and then close close it close it right there above it looking at the total two i'm not sure if we looked at that yet but this is the total two chart right here lagging a little bit behind that total chart bitcoin is actually giving it some momentum right now going to the daily we're above that 200 on the daily it's nice to see right there not a lot of information on this chart very simple chart right here on this monthly though this is what we want to see very interesting like this is it could take a while to come out but it could still come to the 50 percent mark and that would be one of the normal rules of trading just kind of like eh, eh, get right there and then 
you know, back down and then go ahead and continue back up. So, hey, not predictions, just giving you scenarios. TA doesn't give you predictions. You just have a bearish scenario now and you have a bullish scenario now. The key line to watch is that 25K. So let's talk a little bit about H bar. So H bar is sitting at a $2.2 billion market cap. Now, um, a lot of you guys know that I like to talk about low cap gems on this channel a lot, but I really like H bar ever since inception. I should have got in at the IPO. I didn't. But um, I really like what H bar is doing, especially in the carbon credit sector. And they're paying attention to where people are going to be putting their money. They're paying attention to where there is a need for some type of distributed ledger technology. And that, you know, they're doing that with carbon credits and a bunch of other things. But also with this right here, we got the power exchange, the virtual power exchange. I mean, a boss controls and currency joint venture to bring on-demand secure renewable energy on hbar pretty dope right so earlier today we had all this hype with e um ewt chain they have their um renewable energy um marketplace mechanism the ders um so let's just read a little bit about what's going on right here so it says we're excited to announce that the virtual power exchange the first digital energy exchange platform for real time and settlement of generational and consumptional transactions between retail users has selected hedera as their dlt of choice very interesting that they didn't go with EWT. Currently, marketplace participants are required to have at least one megawatt of energy to participate in wholesale energy markets. This means that the market today is largely dominated by public entities, large power generators. Through the VPE platform, new sub M watt distributed energy market will be created. In turn, digitizing, decentralizing, democratizing, and decarbonizing the power grid and grid management. And that's, that's, that's pretty crazy right there. Coming down real quick, it says, um, small players, uh, so the small players participating in the VPE platform might include electric vehicle owners, car, uh, homeowners with solar panels, and so on. So this is something that you can see is going to be part of the future, you know, with EWT and also with HBAR, who got a lot of um, things going on. Um, by enabling these players to participate, it will also facilitate investment from private entities into distributed energy resources or DERS like solar, wind, battery, and lower the threshold for market entry. Pretty dope, pretty dope. So let's scroll down to the bottom real quick so we can read a little bit about it. They talk about um, H bar. So let's talk about who is boss. Boss control boss controls is a cloud based IOT energy based management company focused on cybersecurity and energy resilient solutions. That's pretty dope. And then C currency is a market leading innovator in development of institutional grade compliance aware tokenization account management and decentralized finance technology based on blockchain and they're working together on H bar to bring the uh, virtual power exchange and that's pretty dope. Uh, if you don't know about HBAR, you got to use HBAR token to make these things work and run. So there is a use case here. And I think HBAR, you know, is setting itself up to be um, not just a crypto project, but one of those, I would say, like corporate companies or one of those corporate names that people go to when they're looking for um, DLTs or um, something that's an alternative to blockchain secure and scalable so shout out to the h bar token for that so like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel let me know if there's any projects that you would like me to take a look at check out my website etcurrency.com get yourself some trading courses you can also get into my telegram group for free through my website the link is on there so you don't have to hit me up and ask me for the link it is on my website for you to click in right now and go get it keep in mind in the bull market there will be a price on that because people start scamming and all this stupid stuff so like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, think positive and positive things will happen. Remember, never finish a negative statement about currency. RIP to crypto roots. Till next time, peace.